Joe and Far Beyond. Beyond past the city limits into the ocean depths and where the crevices are. Oh god, the crevices! The crevices are! Crevices. I'm the gutter cat. I'm the lo-fi beatnik. And besides crevices, we're talking about the big crevices in our video game lives. What crevices are you talking about? I'm talking about the the um, announcement of finally the release. Well, not of official date, but releases of Kingdom Hearts 3 and Metroid Prime 4. Now, before we go to Metroid Prime 4, I want to discuss how big Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be. <laughs> considering there's 15 fucking sequels and spin-offs past two, but you know. There's about like seven, I think, if I'm right. I don't know. I don't See? know exactly. See? Seven for fuck's sake. But it's been 14 years since Kingdom Hearts 2. Dude, it was Kingdom Hearts 1, wait, Kingdom wait. Hearts 2, Fourteen Kingdom years. Hearts and, and, and Sora and friends. Kingdom Hearts go to college. Ernest goes to the beach. There's a lot of Kingdom Hearts, man. There's a lot of these fucking things. Kingdom Hearts scare stupid? Kingdom Hearts scare stupid. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts uh, Africa love, trip. I love that one. That's the one with the milk. Anyway. The milk. <laughs> anyway, with the Miak. I don't know. I don't remember. Whole point is Kingdom Hearts. Well, you know, it's not, besides not remembering things, Kingdom Hearts franchise is fucking convoluted as fuck. All kinds of weird, crazy shit going on. If you don't know about the Kingdom Hearts franchise, well, you're about to get schooled. Schooled? Schooled, Schooled, I suppose. I mean, I guess. Well, the, the because problem with we, we know way too much because we, you know, we were kids when the first one came out. <laughs> when you walk away, you can hear them say, "Please, oh, oh baby, <laughs> don't go." Simple, and clean. Like everyone was, everyone in, in the video game industry was like, "Oh my God, the music's so great!" And this and that. And when you walk away, I'm like, uh, you know what? When no one, this is your guilty pleasure. Well, well yeah, right, <laughs> right. Hey, everybody, fucking jamming to that shit. Well, you know, the big thing when it first came out was like, get the fuck out of here. Disney and Square. Yeah. Square Soft are making a game. An RPG, in fact. An RPG. Well, actually, back, Well, back then, you know, it was Square Soft. Not Square Enix. Everybody knows. Wait, was it Square Soft who started it? It was Square Soft that started it. Wow, no wonder it was so damn good. Right? And fucking, <laughs> that was a big thing. Video game company who made Final Fantasy combining with Disney, of all people. Right. To make an action RPG that's fucking straight... I mean, a lot of people were, like, banking off it just being weird as shit, but it was actually really playable. It was a, well, it was a very playable Not game. Not only playable, it was yeah. the shit. <laughs> I mean, it, 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 but it is weird as shit. Yeah, I mean, uh, it was, it's know, an awesome game, but, The you know. story of a kid who has magical key, like a sword, mm -hmm. goes to different Disney worlds, tries to come back and bring the hearts of everybody. It's a, it's a story about bringing people together. Yeah. He's trying to find his friend. There's these creatures that you Try have to find the shell with a key. You they're, know, they're spooky creatures. You use something called a key blade, because why the fuck would you use something sharp? You have to... Well, yeah, yeah, you have to bludge the bastard to death so that their hearts come out. <laughs> your and hearts. then you, you, promptly, you promptly consume them. <laughs> you eat the hearts of your the fallen victims you use with your To get your level up. <laughs> to get stronger. To get stronger. In front of Goofy and Donald. <laughs> Goofy and Donald also siphon this heart for, for themselves. Yeah, I could hear fucking like, like Goofy just going, oh, another murder. And then Donald's like, what? And cut the fucking throat off the, the heart. <laughs> <laughs> In the hearts. I gave about freaking three silly ass people going around killing innocent shadows with blunt objects. You know what? Hearts. Well, a bunch of but well, a bunch of uh, sobby teenagers come out of nowhere talking about my life is dark. Kingdom Hearts. It's a, or other ones be like, I don't care. I'm leading this thing. I don't give a fuck. Kingdom Hearts. Or fucking Pete and fucking the bad guy from the gold cauldron, uh, the black cauldron. No, wait. What is my my left 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 sit from? Um, oh, oh, wait, wait, don't, uh, Snow White and the Seven Chups. Okay, she's Snow White. All right, so she's fucking like, she's a... Seven Chups. The Seven Chups. <laughs> We're the drug addicts. She's the bad guy of the game, <laughs> but then, the, you know, but because Square Enix and, or freaking, well, Square, Square Soft, Soft and, and, and fucking, and Disney, you know, you can't have just one bad guy, you gotta have a Square Soft bad guy. All who, of, I know, huh? Is he, is he a bad guy for fire? No, he's just some original guy who looks like he doesn't belong in any freaking world. He's he's like the eater of darkness. I'm the guy who bumps in the night. Yeah. My feelings are above yours, and I speak in a tone past the mono. <laughs> All right. So so pretty much that, that essentially that is it's it's about bringing friends together. Should have ended it with that. Yeah. But you know, <laughs> because you need to make money and you got a franchise on your head. Let's make this shit confusing as fuck. Let's introduce spirits without spirits and hearts and people and spirits and nobodies and people and uh, and alternate people and confusing ass people and uh, 
Let's and see. keys, more keys, every keys up the more walls. What objects? Look at you, your friends, <laughs> your friends who are not your friends, who are actually the darkness, but are your friends. See, back in, in the, the day, darkness. Back in the day before, and, you know. And they had to bring the light to the darkness. You're done. Yes, darkness. Yes. See, before um, Square Square Enix, no, Square Soft became Square Enix, they were high on life and on, you know, pure Colombian coke while making this game. When the coke ran out and they switched partners with um, Enix and became Square Enix, I guess they were just doing good old-fashioned American crack because their story was written by a 12-year-old Japanese kid with crack problems, probably. Or maybe an American 12-year-old. Because all I know is a 12-year-old kid wrote this shit. And that 12-year-old kid became the director of Final Fantasy XV. When you walk away... No, that's the wrong game! <laughs> you can hear me say... Which is that Final Fantasy was that again? 15, the most recent one. It's not 15. Yeah, 15 is the most recent one. No, I'm not I said when you walk away with the song. Oh, that's Kingdom Hearts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Kingdom Hearts. That's Kingdom Hearts 1, 2... 5, 7, 35... Okay, so here's the problem with these things. It's all like that. Kingdom okay, Hearts 3. When Kingdom Hearts yeah. 2 came out, mm -hmm. that shit was a shit. Mm -hmm. Because before we were getting intercools. Ones that go in between... Well, actual sequels, actually. It was a sequel and an intercool. Which is kind of like, hey, after this game, here's a little tidbits before you get to part 2. And then right before part 2, hey, here's this story that happens two days before part 1 ends, but after part 2 starts... Okay, you see, that's where it gets confusing. See, you can write, write all this down. You could, you could copy you can, it. I, the story is so goofball-y. Oh, that yeah. Even... Let me tell you, the main character is not really, shouldn't be the hero because he's not really meant for the sword. But then the sword chooses him because he's not evil. But then the evil guy has an other evil guy who's not really evil but just wants his body back. And then the evil guy and the non-evil guy without the body combine to make the evil guy... And the evil guy who took over the good guy's spirit a long time ago is actually the evil guy who is not the evil guy who just wants his body back and the bad guy unfused. Are you done, Kojima? Mm, yes, for the moment. Yeah, Kojima is blushing of how fucking goofball this fucking story is. Uh, it, it, He's like, it's, oh it's, shit, it's, it's, you guys are good. <laughs> but, but somewhere along the line, let's see, let's see the, here, here's what, what makes this, this series so great. Oh, somewhere in between all that confused ass fucking mess, is fucking badass combat, fucking awesome Disney characters going woo -hoo -hoo -hoo, magical and shit like that. Goofy. And fucking and goofy. Goofy. And fucking graphics that uh, for each iteration is fucking amazing. They were pretty good graphics, you know. I, 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 everyone's like, oh, that, that doesn't look realistic. Well, like, uh, no shit to cartoony look for all the different fucking um, freaking Disney Disney. Like, I mean they even managed to put a freaking um, like freaking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and Tron in there though right right but also putting it in where, where Nightmare Before Christmas and freaking Winnie the Pooh this is Halloween right. this I mean, is I mean Halloween. there's a lot of things Busting okay well the whole point is Halloween. after after so many odd years we're actually finally getting a part three yeah after like eight games later but fucking <laughs> <laughs> this is like, a, like at least five, I think. I don't remember. Again, like I said, Kingdom but, Hearts 1, but two, Kingdom Hearts the, goes with the, Ernest. The visuals <laughs> of this game are freaking amazing. Taking places in Big Hero 6, Toy Story, uh, was it the Rapunzel one? Rapunzel. Tangled. And oh. fucking, uh, uh -huh. fucking Monsters, Inc. They're going all full out, like freaking all the, all the animated CG ones now. So, and this game looks amazing. You got new weapons, new wep... The, I mean, I mean the story. I'm pretty sure is batshit insane still. But you still have to beat the shit out of things. With but you objects. get to still, yep. With, huh? But now you got multiple, like, like a hammer, a wand, fucking yo-yos. Jesus, so much shit. So, so much shit. The game objects. looks fucking amazing. Blunt objects everywhere. The next one probably called Kingdom Hearts 3.7 Blunt Object or some shit. Yeah, like right. That. Oh yeah. No, don't get me started with the naming conventions. I know, right? Fucking. 1.5 Remix, 2.5 Remix, 2.8 Final Remix Anthology, fucking 3, 5, 6, 8 Days Over Something, Birth by Sleep, fucking... And 2.7747... And, and I'm pretty uh, sure there's a fucking in front of each Never one. Never Stop Believing or something. Beta shit. version. Beta version 7. Yeah, industrial <laughs> size. Industrial size. Uh, Africa's! Yeah. Shout out to my cat! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Because this is the other outs. shows. Oh, oh yeah, we, we need to do shout-outs. We shout -outs. forgot the shouting we them got, out got, of the We got shout-outs. Shout we got a shout-out to... Uh, Give us a shout. Somebody, okay, so, you know, you meet people along the way, people who like to support us. 
So, you know, if you guys want to support us, we'll shout out your guys' name eventually. We're going to have to shout you out anyway. Yeah, exactly, because, you know, if we don't shout you out, then, you know, then, then we, we got to probably get mad. and then You don't get mad, we won't have a Patreon, we won't have a uh, sexy, uh, right? sexy naked so, party. Uh, we need to get a Patreon so we can give more shout outs. Yeah, see, it's going to be called um, Stock Baby Sexual Patreon. Um, Ten bucks, and you get a picture of us giving you a thumbs up. A hundred bucks, and you have an animated version of us doing the helicopter dick thing. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Excuse me. I... But for a thousand dollars. Oh god, I'm just gonna keep doing that. For a thousand dollars, you get to see him sneeze in slow motion. Oh man, you guys don't want, you guys really want to see that one, don't you? Yeah. Don't you? All right. So on today's shout out is for uh, ZX Elite Wolf XZ Gaming, which is like some dude that man. Hey, he has videos on his thing. He live streams a bit. Go check him out. You know, it's ZX Elite Wolf XZ Gaming, dude. Give a holler at him. Holler at him. He's Tell him that chat. Stock Babies told you about him. And then freaking... Look at him. Look at him. Stare. Stare at him. Intently. Just... Intently. I mean, that's the whole point. Intensity. For his videos, give give a homie a... Give, 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 give the guy a look, you know? Hallelujah, holler back. Holler back at him. All right. Exactly. Anyway, for right now, Thanks, that's, the only, that's, the, that's the only shout out we got right now. So anyway, back to convoluted mess. Uh, so the whole point of Kingdom Hearts three is coming out. Kingdom and I'm looking, Hearts I'm looking forward to that shit because it looks <laughs> solid as fuck. But that's not the only thing announced coming out, possibly this year. Yeah, uh, somewhere in October or something like that, I believe we're probably going to be getting Metroid Four, Metroid Prime Four. But why would that have a huge itch in my balls? Explain why well, my balls are itchy. Why should I explain when you have plenty of moments to explain? Here, just just scratch my balls. He is, it, it, are you telling me to scratch my own balls? You need to scratch okay, your own balls. Okay, goddammit. Let the people s- s- smell, One second, smell open, success. Let me open my beer. Open the beer. Here you go. Thank you. All right, the reason why I'm skeptical about Metro Prime 4 is one simple reason. Namco Bandai. All right. Now, a lot of people are saying that, hey, wait a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me just step back a tiny bit. Namco Bandai, not Retro Studios, is going to be actually, um, it's going to develop the game. Uh, you know? Explain to them who Retro Studios is and why this is important. Second party uh, company, Retro Studios, the guys who made 1, 2, and 3, who was, had great talents from um, id and, and Valve and other great companies who went, who went in. And made Metroid Prime. I mean, one of the greatest fucking adventure games I ever played, in my opinion. First person adventure game. First person adventure game, FPA. So, this time they're not doing it. It's Namco Bandai's time. It with uh, apparently with Singapore, their version, um, their company in Singapore. So they're developing it, and people are wondering why they would choose this. But in reality, it's not the first time Nintendo outsourced their games to them. In fact, they made uh, Star Fox. I believe they helped out with Mario Kart, and he definitely helped out with Smash Brothers. So they're really friendly with these guys, and you know what they're talented with. But my concern is FPA, First Person Adventure. I have never played a shooter from or adventure game that's that's first person from Namco Bandai. That's why I'm wondering. Well, here, here's would a good. Would be good? Well, yeah. here, here's the thing, and you know I'm not too worried about it. Is that Namco Bandai is a is a very solid publisher yeah. company. They do a lot of things. I mean, they make a lot of the Gundam uh, franchise, Which freaking and I know They do a lot. They do a lot of games. I'm sorry. I'm like they're like right now. I'm not thinking about anything, but they, they, a lot of the games they come out. They do things like Ace Combat and and they you, publish you a lot. Think, of, you, yeah. you, you, they publish a lot. You, you, know, you take the reins for a moment here. See, um, Naruto they, games. <laughs> that go now, God. They um. They actually published a lot of great games. They were actually, they, and especially from soft games like uh, Armored Core, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, and Ace Combat, of course, one of my favorite flying simulators. And again, it's not actually Bandai Namco doing it. It was from Soft doing all that those games. So I want to know what Bandai Namco well, has they do in te- their sleeves. Like Tekken and. And the Dragon Ball Xenoverse game. And lots of anime games. Yeah. Like, but, like, not gonna lie, a lot of anime games. But again, I'm saying, first person adventure. What's the uh, what's well, their talent? I, I mean, what I'm saying is, if you know, they got they got, they're a solid publisher. I'm pretty sure they could do a first person shooter. I mean, it's just camera work more or less. I'm not gonna say that because there's a lot that goes into that. Yeah, I know. But, but they're good with adventure games. I mean, they're releasing the. Uh, what adventure the, games have have they actually made though? Well, I mean, like uh, as not I, published. As I reiterated before, like a lot of the. Uh, one Piece, Naruto games. 
One Piece. One Piece, Naruto games, uh, Sword Art Online, which is, uh, you know, which is well, the most recent one's an actual third person shooter. Is that the one that's that kind of feels like that dip game? Um, Freedom yeah, Wars? Oh, yeah, yeah, Freedom Wars. Is that yeah. the one? It feels like Dream Wars, God Eater Burst. Uh, well, if, if that's the case, uh, I guess they can have the adventure. I mean, they, 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 I mean they, they got adventures down. I believe so. You know, the first person. Well, hey, that's there's not honest, much with first person. I know, but to be honest, I'm being selfish on the subject because oh, I yeah, want well. another. I want another fucking Metroid One. That's oh, what I want. We've been, we've that been same waiting. Feeling. You've been yeah. waiting for so long for a freaking Metroid Prime, I mean. In, in general, I mean, that's my favorite Nintendo series in, in this period. I mean, right? I love Zelda. I love Mario. Blah blah blah. Whatever the staples. I love Metroid. I love it. Period. The darker game. You explore like um, Zelda, but you shoot around. I mean, it's, it's great. Yeah, I mean, like, like, like you know, person. unfortunately, half the world doesn't uh, think the way you do. Yeah, I and, know. <laughs> you know. Metroid, unfortunately, is the lowest selling uh, brand of Nintendo's. Yeah. But they, we gotta show them some love. I mean, fuck, it's the darkest brand of theirs. And it's the darkest, and I think it's one of the. It's in the same tier in, in, as Zelda to me. You know? Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, I, mean, I, I love me some fucking Metroid games. I mean, you could say all you want about Zelda, but you can say the same thing almost with Met, uh, Metroid. What I'm uh, concerned, though, is just because they have a great track record does not mean they'll actually accomplish what they wanted to do in the first place. That's because true. Let's not... Because remember when the first time, and you even fucking said this to me, and I said, nope, nope, Team Ninja, Team Ninja, hell to the yeah, they're going to make a sweet-ass Metroid, other M. <sighs> I did not see a single review, I did not see a single fucking video for the game. I just want to be so damn surprised. And yeah. boy was I. A bad Metroid game. I mean, it's, and it's, for the five fans of the game, fuck you. Five, fuck all five of you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was kind of a sad fight. Kind of like, that kind of a structure, or like, you know, pretty much cemented the fact that, see, nobody buys our games. It's like, not, it's like no, don't take that, no don't take that account that. Games. It yeah. was, yeah, exactly. That. It was a bad game because... The scripting and all that. I mean, like, hey, you would have thought the people from behind Ninja Gaiden would have done something. I mean, yeah, but... But, but you know, but then again, you got the handcuffs out of Nintendo. You can't... No super violence, no freaking... No, not, not only that. It, have you ever played Ninja Gaiden, bro? That's just I know, but that's not the thing I'm, um, that pisses me off. It's, it's not the fact that it's Ninja Gaiden who's making it. What's pissed me off is Nintendo said, okay, I'm guessing it's them. All right, guys, here's a control. I'm like... You have a class control and a nunchuck. Well, why don't you give me this one, only the one control? All right, guys, that's the control. That's all you need. I'm like, no, no, no. Can we use the nunchuck? Fuck you. Use the one piece of control. Just use the bu oh, two yeah, buttons. Oh, yeah, use the Wii mode. <laughs> yeah, the shoot a missile, point at the fucking thing every time. Uh, yeah, give... Oh, I, hated, a, I hate it when Nintendo Dude, when run around was with, all about that. You have to run around with a fucking D-pad, and that D-pad was smaller than life. Uh, I hate it when the Wii was all about gimmicks. Yeah, but one, the, the little chicken shit controller. What was that control called? The Wiimote. Yeah, the Wiimote. You can you know, only you use the Wiimote. On it. No fucking nunchuck. No. Just the Wii. Do you ever fucking done a third person game? I mean, a, a 3D <laughs> game with a D-pad? Any 3D game with a D-pad, the D -pad, that's terrible. And they're like, hey guys, remember the fucking, remember the when PlayStation had this, the, didn't have the sticks yet? Well, here you go. I'm like, well, fuck, the sticks were the fucking innovation. They fucking made things better. Yeah. When they're you like, fucking think about what games were the best when they the came D out when the fucking D-pad, when the D-pad was the only option. And there were no first-person shooter games. No, they were all Tekken. <laughs> Tekken was great on the PlayStation. <laughs> it was actually pretty yeah, tense, It was so. fucking great. No, but a D fucking pad. Yeah, so a fucking 3D fucking So stuff. I'm a little bit worried that this third party, even though it's Bandai Namco and they've done some amazing games, that they would fuck up the Metroid series again. But it's Prime 4. That's why I'm a little bit more skeptical because I'm thinking, okay. No you, toe. They must have made a great <laughs> fucking tech demo or something. <laughs> You just say Naruto? <laughs> yeah, I just say Naruto. Oh, no. uh, I, I'm sorry, nah, no, nah, I mean, like, we're not gonna be fucking, I'm pretty sure that the part of the, the company isn't gonna do fucking, they, uh, then again, it's Metroid and Nintendo. Mm. No, I'm just saying, you just kept on saying uh, Naruto, and a few fans of Naruto who probably listen right now. I'm pretty like, sure they're, they're, they're our, they're our fans like, know what the hell Naruto is, because most of our fans are probably, like, 15-year-old, 13-year-olds. I hope not, they're that's all... terrible, they're hearing us cuss left and right. Those people who will get in here for the retro Wait, first, stuff. First, first of all, if there's a 15-year-old who never heard the word fuck or balls or here's a shout out to South Park meat crop, then I got something to tell you. These are some Amish motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we talked about who the people who made games? Armored Core and freaking... 
Wait, That's from about? software, but from you know, software. developers and I mean, if they publish your developers, you know, I get if they could get someone from the from there. I'm pretty sure they could. Oh yeah. Maybe an art director or a fucking a soundboard guy. Give me the tech to come into to Metroid. Harada. It's Metroid. I, I need Harada here. He, he's, he's the Tekken guy. Wait, it's Harada. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I love Tekken, him. but I don't know the director. I always forget the uh, Harada. Just... It's uh, I think so. Harada. I think he's the Tekken guy. Give me a second. Let me just take a sip of my beer. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see, freaking Harada, the freaking game producer and director at Bantai Namco. That dude should be doing freaking... He probably Metroid. is. Probably is, but he's well, Tekken's dude. He's he's Mr. Tekken. Mr. Tekken. That instead guy. of Mr. Dead or Alive. <laughs> Fuck the Metroid! <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, that's terrible! What? Going from Mr. Dead or Alive to Mr. Tekken. What's that? Why are they leaving freaking fighting game developers to do these things? Hey, you better not... If I see a fucking other M Prime 2, <laughs> name something like that. I'm gonna be pissed uh, off. No, I'm pretty sure he's still working on Soul Calibur 6. Okay. You know, uh, yeah, but he then again, is. he did. They do. He did do Ace Combat, Assault Horizon, and uh, Ridge Racer Unbound. Ridge Racer. Oh uh, yeah, Hyperdimension Neptunia. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What's Hyperdimension and Neptunia? It's a game you don't ever want to play. Why? Stay away from the Neptunia. Those games. Stay away from them, Mila. Give me a sec. Man, you don't even know. Stay away. Give me a sec. I want to see this is push-up challenge on YouTube. <laughs> How to have sculpted abs in 130 you, you, days. You motherfucker, just stay away. Give me a sec. Echo Garage is going to be my new hipster band. Stop talking <laughs> about hipster bands. You're not going to have one. Watch. You're not a hipster. Woo! Stop being a hipster. You, you're going to play Pokemon is what you're going to do. I do want my girl who's down with the shitty audio hallway recording. Woo! Echo Garage. All right. So what they call again? Uh, what? The, the, those games? Uh, you don't want to play the Neptunia games. Neptunia. <laughs> I warned you. What the fuck? How do you spell that shit? <laughs> the bomb will not cooperate with my sexy voice. Well, because hey, you're doing a podcast ne right now. Neptunia. Yes. What the fuck? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, more games than Kingdom Hearts games. Oh my god, okay, my bad. Damn, just, I guess. Just, you opened up the wormhole. Bro. Oh, shit. You opened up the wormhole. Oh, okay. Then now, now you're stuck in it now. See, I'm now, glad. Now, now you're intrigued. Oh, God. Turning about off. About freaking anime girls that represent the video game consoles. Is, that's how I start off with you. No, I never actually played one of them. Well, you know what? I remember that game now. I remember when Daniel was trying to tell me with his Daniel voice. Ooh, ooh, ooh wee. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that guy. <laughs> no, no, he was, he was just saying, ooh, it's, 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 a con it's a game about consoles and shit. I'm like, well, I, I don't get it. The green one's at the Xbox, the, the blue one's PlayStation. I remember that shit now. Yeah. And he was trying to show me gameplay. I'm like, dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, he's, to be honest, he got me into this guy, you know? Yeah. But we're not going to discuss this The whole this point is Metroid shit. is in great hands. <laughs> Fighting for... God damn it. Pretty soon, um, you'll see Metroid Prime 5, um, made by NetherRealm Studio or some shit. You know, you That'd actually do... That'd be great. Gory, you do gory kills by pressing, pressing... And Metroid Prime 6, done by Capcom. With lots and lots of microtransactions, buy season passes... To have super missiles, you had to pay 10 bucks. Yeah, duh, that's the... part of the season pass, bro. Oh, that's part of the season pass? That's part of the season pass. Okay, for the season pass of Metroid 6... Woo! You get a fucking super missile for ten dollars. You get a new color. <laughs> new color. Um, and I heard that you can passionate. unlock the door. Dude, I heard that they're passionate, so you can do a morph ball. Whoa. Yeah, I know. That's uh, but I, I don't know. That's probably yeah. gonna be season two or something, bro. Nah, nah. It's, it's season one. Capcom confirmed this shit. Trust oh. me, dude. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Hell fucking yeah. Fuck Fighting yeah. Studios. Why are you making Metroid? <laughs> right. That's weird. Well, I, like, like, I, didn't think, I didn't think about it until you told me about the guy. It's weird, though. I mean, it's it's not like it's fucking Pop, uh, pop Cap or some shit like that, or Peggle. <laughs> <laughs> like, pop right, Cap. Like, imagine this. Watch this. <laughs> you played Call of Duty all your life. Now, from the makers of uh, Peggle... <laughs> uh, yuck. Uh, yuck. Here comes Metroid Prime Do -do -do -do. <laughs> Go into space with all your buddies and start shooting around. It still seems... Oh, Peggle's... Would be a middle finger, but still. I mean, I mean imagine, again, imagine for fucking Call of Duty. Well, man, yeah, all we got, all we got to go on is Gundam games and freaking, and uh, Ace Combat to think that freaking, that that's all we got for Metroid. I mean, they make robot games. That's true. So I mean, like, 
Hey, Samus might look badass, or she might look like a fucking Gundam. Now, here's what I'm thinking. What if it's not art-based? What do you mean? See, I believe that Metroid Prime uh -huh. was not really art-based. It's based off the realism. I mean, the... the Did you see her costume in each, each freaking game? It, like, changed drastically. Yes, but the art style shifted to... Um, it has art style, of course. You know, go figure. Well, yeah. But it's more realistic look. Well, yeah, because they had to try to play some game fucking bullshit to try to make them seem like they're play making PS3 games yeah. with all the bullshit bullshit lighting. We'll see what they was it was lighting. Bloom lighting. For part three, they used bloom lighting to have it was it's the like, same hey, art look, style. It but almost looks lighting. like a PS3 game, and then you're like, <laughs> yeah. You know what's actually sad though? They're actually comparing Metro Prime 3 with Halo 2. <sighs> they're like, see, it looks better than Halo 2. I'm like, I fucking hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you got ODST about to come out. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, no, this part, no, not game. Halo Three, Halo Two, dude. They're comparing. I know Halo that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> at the time, ODST would have been coming out, no? Yeah, they're like, okay, you, like you guys, you guys beat us. It looked better than Halo Two after we made Halo Three. Here comes Halo ODST. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> so it's high, right? In the stand, everybody's all like, but Star Fox. Mm-hmm. Hmm? Yeah. <laughs> I, I know that had nothing to do with anything, but it's like I just wanted, like you know. I just kind of put the mentality of like back in the day freaking Nintendo fans about Star Fox. Yeah. What what what's the, what about Star Fox? Would make <laughs> him have a Chris voice. <laughs> that does not even his real fucking voice at all. <laughs> it's the funny part. You know, one day we'll probably like we'll, we'll just we'll, we'll in our heads yeah, it's like hey guys, but in reality he's like hello. Yeah, we'll invite him to the show one day and hear how he actually does talk. Yeah, we'll give him a big ass hoagie too, Chris. Uh, we're gonna give you a big fucking hoagie, bro. <laughs> Paid by this chup. Uh, why, why am I gonna buy him a hoagie? Well, because I'm buying the fucking booze. Ah, oh, man, we've been burping and sneezing this whole episode. Farting. That's terrible. It's terrible. It shows that we're imma immature adults. What? I just got a pop cap, popping caps, popping. Pop All right. Caps. Again, though, uh, the um, the art style it has to be the same, but it's also realistic, though. But I, what I've noticed from each game, part one. Well, it felt like a Metroid, period. Mm -hmm. Part two was, um, it felt like a Zelda um, Wind Waker. Oh, no, 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 Orphan of Time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or, no, 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 what's it called, what's it called? Majora's Mask. Um, before, Maj not Majora's Mask. Um, um, uh, Link, Link to the, the past. past. You know, light world, but, uh, uh, yeah, dark Nintendo's, world. Yeah, Nintendo's. It's but, always going to be a light and dark world in one of their games. But the dark world here was like, it was interesting because you couldn't go into certain spots. Because right. your you know, armor would be all you know, fucked up. But part three was really linear, actually. Really linear. Yeah. So. It was trying to compete with Call of Duty. <sighs> and Halo 2. <laughs> uh, you know, actually, um, the funny part about that... Uh, Halo 2 was a great game. Metroid... No, but Metroid Prime 2 was actually competing with Halo 2. They came out close to the same time. The reason why you could tell from this was the put on the tacked on multiplayer mode, mm. which I fucking excelled at. Fucked all these bitches up. What's up? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's Metroid Prime multiplayer. What's up, bro? It's Metroid Prime multiplayer. You got, you got your ass whooped, homie. Uh, uh, you got stomped out. It's, it's nothing. Stomped it's, the yard too. Electric nothing, boogaloo, motherfucker. It's, it's, What's up? It's <laughs> nothing to be proud of, bro. Whoop it's, ass in that shit. Metroid, Metroid multiplayer. Smash all the motherfuckers who went against me. Like, you want to play? Dead. It, it, it's a GameCube, bro. What's good? It's GameCube, bro. It's the cube. It's a GameCube, bro. It's, a, it's the, the game, the, indeed. The, the, the only first person shooter worth playing on that shit? Well, time splitters. You know damn well there's a lot of good shooters for the cube. We don't want to discuss this over the mic. We know that part two was also good. Part three was awesome. And other great shooters are great. Don't forget the great 13. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. No. You can fly. And Killer 7. You can... Well, goddamn, the GameCube was the first person fucking machine. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I want to play Killer Sin right now, but that shit's uh, in someone else's house. It's okay, because you know what you can play because you got a Wii and a GameCube and the Switch? No more heroes! Thanks, um, Suda51, because I'm so Suda full of your bullshit. Why can't you fucking make a Killer 8? Or 9, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Killer 8 was a hidden... Yeah, I know, a little hidden gem. We want a fucking Killer 7 remake. 
For fuck's sakes, how hard is it? HD though. It'd be very easy, actually, especially for the Switch. In fact, I'm pretty sure I would call them lazy the moment I hear about it, because that's fucking lazy. But I would buy it on the spot, because Killer7 was, I think, what Quentin Tarantino you made. Love your Nintendo Switch. Okay, Don't uh, you love your Nintendo Switch? He just bought a fucking PC fucking Who? Super PC, goddammit. Oh, me? You don't need a fucking Switch. Fuck no, I don't need a goddamn Switch until Prime 4 comes out. Hopefully it's good because of Namkai, but I know I'm actually not fucking looking forward to this, but I actually am because I'm highly curious about this. That's how you do it. Right? <laughs> well, that's about it for the show. As you could tell, we had absolutely nothing to talk about. We today. had jack shit. Thank you, News. It's Monday. No slow. It's Monday. By the time you guys hear it, it's probably going to be Tuesday. Yeah, we can't do it on Wednesday because it's Valentine's Day because someone was at the work all fucking day. Yeah. Working on it, yeah! Get it? <laughs> Working on it! I'm the Gutter Cat, and he's the Lo-Fi Beatnik. Uh -huh. Follow us on YouTube, hit the notification bells, uh, subscribe, uh, follow me on Twitter at DJ Gutter Cat. Um, we're gonna, we're working on new shows and hopefully videos soon, and you know, maybe this will be the end of the season, maybe, because do YouTube videos even have seasons? Maybe, I don't know. But you will know when we can actually get video up on there. It's true, FGPIS. Guess you get it. Yeah, uh, right? It's a uh, NGPIS, most popular girls in school, stop motion of uh, broads and dolls and shit. It's kind of funny once you go past the fourth episode. Anyway. That's it then. All right. Let's cut Press quick. that button. And click. stop. Okay, good. So anyway, I shit you not, my boss, he actually went on fucking vacation um, when, when the water heater was broken. So, you know how I fucking clean the whole lot? Yeah. With a cup of water going to the coffee machine. I would fill the cup up with hot water and literally pour on the fucking floor and toss a little bit of detergent and then clean the fucking floor. You, you, you have the most, most amazing Be job in the world, my yeah, friend. Yeah, because the motherfucking thing was broken and guess what the boss did? Went to fucking Africa. Can you believe that shit? Or one of those, mm. yeah, yeah, went to Africa. Once we do this show full time, <sighs> yeah. Dude, seriously though, hot water fill up to clean a whole uh, lot. That okay. shit was huge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. I think we're still recording. Oh god, if he hears us, we're fucked, dude. Uh, oh, so turn that shit up!